After attending mainstream schools, I transferred to the Model Secondary School for the Deaf in Washington, D.C., graduated in 1986, continued at the Gallaudet University. I had to work in order to pay the bills and found a job taking care of younger children. When American Sign Language and the English language are in contact, they will by nature influence each other. One effect of this contact is English mouthing. English mouthing is different from the ASL mouth movements that are seen when signs representing the English words finally or beat are produced. Those signs show ASL mouth movements. In the previous clip, we see a signer with only slight mouthing of English words. Let's take a look. In the recent clip, you see the signer only slightly mouths English words, such as mainstream, school, and work. She is signing ASL with slight English mouthing. We also compared black signers and white signers to see if black signers mouth less. The next clip shows older black signers with no English mouth movements. Was that 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. Wow, all the way to 2.30 in the yeah, morning? Absolutely, till 2.30 a.m. Last night they tried to give me overtime, and I said no. Oh, right. They thought I was scheduled for the meeting, That's but I right. needed to get some sleep. I told them I wasn't signed up for That's it. That's right, there's a list you have to sign up for. Anyway, by the time I got home, he was already asleep, so I cleaned up a bit, changed clothes, got ready for bed, then rested some. In the next example, we see a man offering a prayer at a luncheon. Notice that he does not use English mouthing at all. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank thee for thy bounteous blessings, far, far too numerous to recount. But we remember, thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. We just viewed a man signing who did not show any English mouth movements. Compare this to the next clip of a young woman who does so almost continually. It was Ray Bright's mom. Right, I remember him. Yeah, she said, I know where the deaf school is, and told my mom about it. That's how we found out. We followed her lead, and I started that school in 69. We can see that she mouths English words such as how, no, and mom. Interestingly, though, with the sign for the word follow, she stops using mouth movements. In the sign follow, the movement of the sign and her facial expression show the meaning of eagerly follow, and she uses ASL, not signed English. We looked at white signers, too. Here is a clip that shows a husband and wife. It was running smoothly at first. I had just paid $548 to get it fixed, remember? After we went bowling, I was leaving and heard this awful noise. I was by myself at the time, but made it home okay. I thought I'd better call the garage where I had gotten it fixed, and fortunately, they said I could bring it by. I had them check it out, and then told them to call my son and let him know what was wrong. After being given a whole laundry list of things that needed to be fixed, I said, you know what, just get rid of it. And I'm glad I did. It just wasn't worth it. So I got rid of it, even after I had paid to have the car fixed. Oh, a small deposit. Small. $200. 2.9. 2.9. For the car. Oh, 60. Mm-hmm. 60 months. Mm-hmm. And, um... My son, he got a loan from a bank charging 5%. Why go to a bank? My loan there was 2.9. It's cheaper. The interest is better. And I'm a little worried with our budget being tight. He's at KSSD. But anyway, he's part-time, so I'll have to budget for five years. We'll get through it. I can accept that. Here we see something very interesting. 
While the wife mouths almost continually, the husband does not use English mouth movements. In regards to the grammatical categories, here we find that nouns are mouthed the most, followed by verbs. We also observe that older black signers mouth the least, but young black, young white, and older white signers use English mouth movements to a similar degree. This may be a result of young black signers being educated alongside their white counterparts. We also found that young black signers include words and phrases from African American English in their signing. In this clip, a young woman makes her point and then signs, girl, please. Girl, please. In the next clip, signers discuss the forms and use of the phrase, stop tripping. That's right. Yeah, you'd say you're tripping, or stop tripping, or... Right. Or just, you know, stop tripping. Oh, you tripping. He tripping. Oh, you just tripping. <laughs> oh. I stop use it. his up here like well, this. Well, I stop say tripping. stop tripping, you know? Yeah, you tripping. Come on, you just tripping. Or, you know what, you can sign it in a lower signing space and say, you know, you're tripping. You're tripping, <laughs> all right? A young woman signs, dang, twice in the next clip. Dang. Dang. In the next three clips, we see Siner seated giving high fives as they shoot the breeze, indicating agreement with one another. Yeah, you know McCain walking around with two thumbs up, greeting everyone. My fellow Americans, <laughs> how are you? And, and how are you? Girl. <laughs> but you know, when you stop and analyze it, it makes me wonder how McCain's people feel. Yeah, I was wondering about that. And when they look that. at the entire world's reaction, if McCain had won, everyone would have felt disgusted. Mm -hmm. Now that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. Obama is one of the most powerful men now. now in the world. Now someone that mm -hmm. now that's I mean, the world most. listens. We hung out around 1980, but then I left, settled in Houston, living there for about 25 or 26 years. Hung out with all of them there, talked with everybody over there. Right? Remember, but you knew that, though. Yeah, you should have gotten a hint. <laughs> true. True that. You're right. <laughs> In the next clip, we will see a young signer from Alabama discussing an AAE phrase that has recently changed. Right. Sometimes they'll say, what's up, nerd? It's easy to misunderstand, but I know they're not calling me a nigger. You signed what's up, then? How did you sign it? Well, I sign it in two different ways. When a white deaf person says, what's up, nerd, it looks similar to the sign for the N-word, so a person could get offended, but they're only saying, what's up, nerd. So you use the sign you're using, but it really means, what's right. up, nerd. Right. When we're signing with white deaf people? No, no, to black people. Oh, you say that to black deaf people. Right. You use, what's up, nerd. Do you feel right. insulted? Well, no. If a white person were to sign to a black person, what's up, and use a sign for nerd, a black person might feel insulted, but shouldn't. A white person needs to check in to make sure it's not taken the wrong way. Ah, so if a white person signs to a black person, what's up, nerd? A black right. person looking on could misunderstand, thinking that they're using the N-word. Right. But they really mean nerd, right? And so that, that's a sign for this area. In the next clip, a signer discusses how black signing is unique with the example of the sign, what's up? The black deaf community has its own way. Like when we see someone, we say, what's up? Mm -hmm. Give dap. You know, put our bodies all in it. Just as it <laughs> is with black culture. culture. That's the culture. Did you notice her comment that now black signers seem to want to look like hearing people? Now we'll see a discussion of the signs for the expression, 
my bad, and a black sign for nice, which is different from the general ASL sign. You've said there's a difference between the ways of signing, of course. Black signers show more attitude, have their own style. For example, with my bad. Black deaf sign it like this. My bad. <laughs> my right. Oh, my bad. like this? Or you can use two hands. Yeah, you know, like bad. in basketball when you foul someone. Oh, my bad. Right, my bad. Right. Or white people may sign it like this. Or they may say, my mistake, yeah, sorry, my mistake, mistake. My instead bad. of sorry, I appreciate it. Instead of my, my bad, bad. Actually, right. You know what? Also, white people may sign, he looks nice, but black signers will say, he looks tight. Mm. Totally <laughs> different sign. <laughs> Man, right. He's tight. <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll use our own sign for the concept of dressing sharp or tight, and people will ask, well, what one word do you put with that sign? But we make it work. There really isn't right. one word that perfectly fits that sign. It's just not one word, you know? It's just like mm-hmm. they look tight, they look smooth, nice. Yeah, you're right. There's mm-hmm. no one word. This signer demonstrates a sign for the expression stupid fool as influenced by black English. This one black girl in the dorm and her twin sister, they signed something. At first, I was like, what are y'all talking about? And then I cracked up. I mean, it was funny. She says, stupid fool. I looked at her and then I signed it just like her. Stupid fool. A white woman from Cleveland asks, what does that mean? Oh, stupid fool, that's just a black saying. Her final example is a signer we have seen before. He ends his sentence by signing hell in the way a black hearing person would speak it. So when Obama won this, right, of course it made me more motivated. You felt empowered. To do better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But as far as me becoming president, hell. We can see that black signers are very aware of black English and incorporate it into their way of signing.